Okay, this exam question says the map below shows three boats A, B and C on a lake. Along one edge of the lake is a straight path. Treasure lies at the bottom of the lake. The treasure is between uh, 150 and 250 metres from B, nearer to A than C and more than 100 metres from the path. Okay, so let's do, we've got three conditions we need to satisfy. Let's start with each one. So the first one, between 100 metres, uh, or 150 metres and 250 metres from B. So let's have a look at the map. So here we've got B. We know that one centimetre is 50 metres. So 150 metres will be three centimetres. And 250 metres is going to be five centimetres. And that's going to be from B. Okay, so remember to get a set distance from a point, it's a circle around the point. Okay, so get your ruler, and you're going to measure, set your compass so that it's three centimeters. So our compass is now three centimeters, and from B. Now it says that it's inside of the lake, it says it's at the bottom, this treasure at the bottom of the lake, so we just need to do our arcs inside of the lake, like so. Okay, so that's uh, the 150 metres done, the 3 centimetre one. And then we need to now do the 250 metre one, which is to be the 5 centimetre circle. So we're going to do a 5 centimetre circle. And again, put it on B. And it'll look like so. Okay, actually better carry that on to make sure. Okay, so the first condition was the treasure is between 150 metres and 250 metres from B. So between 150 metres and 250 metres from B is anywhere in this band here. Notice that only it goes round and here is land, so obviously it can only be in this region here. Okay, next condition. It's nearer to A than to C. So remember, that's whenever you do the perpendicular bisector. So you get the line from A to C, and you do the perpendicular bisector between them. So, there's A and C. We're going to join that up with a ruler, and then do the perpendicular bisector using our compass. So, first thing is, join up A and C. And because it says it's closer to A than to C, we're going to do the perpendicular bisector, and anywhere on this side will be closer to A than it will be to C. So get your compass. Remember to set it over halfway. So over halfway, and do an arc to one side of the line, and an arc on the other side of the line. Put the compass in on the other side, and repeat. Okay, so where these two arcs intersect and you join them up, that will be the perpendicular bisector. We'll carry on the line there. Okay, so we know that it's closer to A than to C. So that means it's going to have to be this side of that line. So it's anywhere in this half or this side of the lake. Okay, and the last condition. Oh, yep. Yeah. And the last condition, so we've done one and two. It's more than 100 metres from the path. So remember, one centimetre is 50 metres. So 100 metres from the path, so more than, would be two centimetres. So what we're going to do is, we know that there's the path here, so we're going to get our ruler and measure 2 centimetres from the path and keep on doing a few of those and do a straight line through it. Okay, so we've done our two centimeter dots uh, f away from the line. And draw a nice straight line through this. Okay, so because it's more than 100 meters from the path, I'm oh, sorry, because it's more than 100 meters from the path, we know that it's going to be more than two centimeters from the path on the diagram, so it's anywhere on this side. So let's go through our conditions again. 
We know it has to be in this band because it has to be further than 150 metres and uh, less than 250 metres away from B. After we've done the perpendicular bisector, we knew that it was going to be anywhere on this side of the diagram. Okay, and the last one was it had to be more than 100 meters from the path. Okay, so we've got a couple of regions to satisfy that. Okay, so first of all, we had that it had, could be in here. Now, it, has to, it can't be on this side, so it can't be this side, so it has to be anywhere in this side, and it has to be outside of this distance here. So it's going to be anywhere in this shaded region here. So anywhere in that region, the treasure could be. Because again, just to recap, it's between 150 metres and 250 metres from B. It's closer to A than it is to C, and it's more than 100 metres from the path.